notifications. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe to my channel, and be sure to hit that bell icon to be notified when the next video comes up. Appreciate it, guys. So last year, we finally got an announcement that Pokemon is going to drop another game. And it's not going to be for the 3DS. Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon was the last two games that was going to come out for the DS. So when Game Freak and Nintendo announced that another Pokemon game was coming out, they said it was going to be for the Switch. And a lot of Pokemon fans lost their shit. And Twitter blew up, Instagram blew up, Facebook blew up. Any place where anybody can post anything just blew up. And... Now everybody's here throwing their hat in the ring saying, hey, here's my top 10 what's a what's a what's a what's a or my top 10 what would I like to see in this new Pokemon game. I'm not going to give you no top 10 because, you know, there's a lot of things that I'd like to see back in this new Pokemon game. But for now, I'm just going to give you some stuff that I would like to see in this game. Now, you might not like it, but this ain't your video. You, you might hate what I'm about to say, but then again, it's my opinion as well. I believe it should be in a video game. This is what I think it should be in this game. And just like opinions, you know, everybody's opinion. They're just like assholes. Everybody got one. So, quit your whining. And here's the video. <laughs> this is what I think should be in the game. First and foremost, I would love to see Game Freak implement a little story about special event Pokemon. Everybody knows that, you know, it's hard to come across a certain Pokemon. Like Arceus, the god of all Pokemon. There was a little event with him. Do something like that. Your post game should not be garbage. That's the one thing that sets me up about these past couple Pokemon games. The post game has been sorry. I always look forward to the end of the game for the reason of the fact that I know there's going to be a lot of stuff to do. Emerald did it well. I love Emerald. To this day, if I can get my hands on Emerald, I will play the fuck out of that game. Just cause I know after those eight badges, I, after the eight badges and the four elite members and the champion, you knew for a fact that, hey, the game's not over. You sitting there thinking, yeah, job well done. I ain't gotta do nothing else. Oh no, there's a whole battle frontier that you gotta go to. I love the battle frontier. It had me on my toes at all times, like, hey, there's more stuff I can do here. There's a lot of stuff I can do. Now, I wish the Battle Frontier was a little bit bigger than what it was. You know, everything was all on just one small island. Nah, I wish they would have spaced it out a little bit more, you know, give me some time to travel more and all that stuff. Just like how they spaced out all the eight gems, they could have did that with the Battle Frontier. Matter of fact, bring back the Battle Frontier. I love the Battle Frontier. It was, it was, it wasn't easy, but then it was hard as hell. Some of them were hard. Now, the Battle Pike was the only one I could ever beat. The rest of them, I couldn't get through. And that's something that, you know, I love the most. But back to, you know, the Pokemon events. Most of these Pokemon events that I've been in, that I had over the years, they, they were just weak. Like the Diane C one, where you just type in the code, go to Pokemon Center, talk to this guy, there you go, you got Diane C. Now, some two other guys will walk in and try to get this Diane C from you, but... You were given it. Now, to this day, if I were to do it again, I'll hand that Diancy over because Diancy wasn't even that good in battle, to be honest with you. Not even his mega form wasn't good. It's just something to look at. Just like, hey, look, got me a Diancy. Nobody else can say they got one. But then we hop online, you see like over 2 million people with a Diancy. You know? So the events, you could at least make a story out of it. Or better yet, I, there's always a Pokemon movie that comes out before the game does. Let us play through the movie, you know. Let us, you know, go to GameStop, get the little code, type it in. Uh, the, the, the event won't start until you reach a certain level in the game. So say like, for instance, you know, I go get a code, I type it in. I'm still not even past the first gym yet. All right, you got to get past the fifth gym to activate this event, so on and so forth. And I feel like that's what they should do with this upcoming game, you know. Have us, you know, really looking forward to seeing these legendary Pokemon. The legendary Pokemon battles are always awesome. I love, I love them. You know, on the edge of my seat when I'm not using a Master Ball and I gotta keep throwing like 50 Pokeballs, 50 Ultra Balls, and all that stuff. I love that. Even though in my in my my face face reaction shows that oh, I'm fucking hating this. Really deep down inside, I'm like this is this is what 
Pokemon's all about, you know, the hard battle between you and a legendary or you and your rival. Also, let's make your rival worth something. Like, these past rivals that I done had in these Pokemon games, like in Sun, I hate that they're so happy and jolly and stuff. Like, no. Can we get somebody like Paul from Diamond and Pearl? Can I get somebody like Paul? Paul was, Paul showed that, hey, look, I ain't all about that happy stuff, bro. And I, I like that. I want somebody that's serious, who's like die hard, want to be a Pokemon trainer, showing us that, hey, you can't beat me, bro. I done raised up my Pokemon past 100, and you know, I just can't beat me. Or bring back that uh, Silver from Pokemon Gold and Silver. You know, he, he, he was like, he was a dick first. He was a dick. At first, back in the day, I thought he was a girl. But then when I got Heart Gold and Soul Silver, that showed me, oh no, he, that, that's, that's a dude. That's, that's a guy. But have somebody like him, all right, that's real serious. That's like him and Paul. They are so serious. Like these guys ain't happy and jolly. Every time they see you, they're just a smile and shit. Like, no. I want him to despise me. I want him to hate me. I want him to make sure that every time he see me, we got a battle. Make sure that every time you see me, he just throws dirt on my name. Say I'm garbage and stuff. Say something like that. Have me willing to show this guy up every time I see him. Something like that. Uh, next, these the, the teams, the evil teams. You know, I'm getting real tired of seeing these evil teams, to be honest with you, because their motives have become so stupid that I tend to forget about them. Like after the post game, a friend asked me, so. Who did you, what was the main team, the evil team's name in Pokemon Sun and Moon? Damn, uh, what was their name as a kid? I don't know, they like, they were some like gangsters, you know, the whole hip hop thing and all that stuff. Um, damn, I know it was Team Skull and that, I know that foundation, but I guess both of them were evil team. Now, evil Team Skull and Guzma, you know, he was pretty much low key, not even the main bad guy. It was, I forgot the, the girl's name, because Sun and Moon was forgettable to me. I didn't like Sun and Moon. But the girl that had Cosmog, her mother was the main villain. And I'm guessing she just wanted to go to the, where the Ultra Beasts came from. And wherever the Ultra Beasts were, I guess she wanted to go visit them. <coughs> and honestly, I wasn't really feeling it. Guys. The Ultra Beasts were, were sorry to me. Um, Z moves, take that shit out. I didn't like the Z moves at all. That all that dancing they were doing, like no, no. It's already Pokemon is already whack to some people. Y'all just making it worse. But for some reason they just thought that that was cool. No, the Mega Evolutions was cool. Bring that back, cause there's a whole lot of Pokemon that deserve that Mega Evolution. Hell, hell, we went for Shuckle to at least evolve, but Mega Evolution style would be cool. These Z moves, not so much. Getting rid of, get rid of anything that was in Sun and Moon. The Island Trials, those guys, those guys go, bro. I'm sorry, I didn't like them at all. And I don't want to sound like I'm just bashing Sun and Moon, because Sun and Moon had some good parts to it. But the Island Trials, no. I mean, I was really looking forward to the gym battles. And they were, the whole Sun and Moon thing was, you know, was based off Hawaii. And I was like, cool. That's that's amazing. That's that's gonna be cool. But then they took out, you know, the gym battles and they threw island trials in there. And when I did them, I was like, all right, I'm gonna give it a try. By the end of the game, I was just like, no, no. You had the elite four, and it just didn't feel right going up into elite four. I'm like, but I ain't got no badges though. Like, so how am I supposed to, you know, get up in here when I got no badges? It just lets you in there, and I'm like, oh, so this is gonna let anybody up in there. But all right, cool. Bet. And I didn't like that. Now totem Pokemon. Give or take, you know, the fact that I couldn't catch any of them, that part pissed me off. I'm like, bro, no, you got a, these Pokemon 10 times stronger than yours. Not just that, they're kind of bigger in size, so they're bigger than their original other Pokemon around them. And I'm like, yo, I want to catch this, even though it ain't going to do much to my team. But hey, it's, it's giving off this aura of it's going to beat your ass because it's bigger than you. But no, I can't catch it. And that's another thing that kind of irritated me with that don't don't bring up anything from sun and moon please don't bring it back now the alolan forms yeah you can bring them but only certain ones alolan raichu he can come the rat attack nick can come um 
execute, that can surely come because that one was a mainstay on my team. D grass and Dragon? Come on now. That's that. Flygon should have been Grass and Dragon, but it's not. But, you know, hey, beggars can't be choosers though, right? Um, Muck can stay because, you know, I'm pretty sure they were just trying to say that, you know, change the color of Muck from purple to rainbow color. Not okay. I wasn't feeling that at all. But one thing I do want to see for sure is when is Eevee going to get another evolution? Like, you got all except for Steel, Poison, Bug, Dragon, Ground, Ghost. Like, and at least give it, if Eevee evolved into another normal, like it went from normal to normal, that'd be cool too. We're looking for another Eevee. Y'all gave us Selvion when y'all announced the Fairy type, but y'all only did that because Fairy type was new. And we're like, all right, so you're just playing to the new typing that you guys got. But what about these other typings that's been here for a hot minute and they're not getting no love? I honestly want to see a Dragon Eevee, you know? If we can get a Dragon Eevee, best believe you'll see that on my team. Another thing I would like to see for sure, for sure, come back is I like to uh, in Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver, probably one of my favorite Pokemon games of all time. I liked how when you first got your starter Pokemon, that Pokemon didn't stay in this ball, not at all. Once you got it, it came out. Any, any Pokemon I was in the front of your party was always traveling beside you. So I remember I had a Groudon and I put him in front of my party. That big ass dinosaur walking behind me. That was, it was hilarious to see, but I'm like, God, this is pretty cool. Bring that back, especially on the Switch. Like, especially on the Switch. That would be amazing to see a 3D brought on walking beside behind me. Like, that, that would just be amazing. Really amazing. And also with the whole, you know, events too. You know, say like you got a certain Pokemon that's in your party. Like, say for instance, if I got brought on and I'm doing an event with Kyogre. If you have brought on at the beginning of your party, oh, like activate a certain cutscene and you will on and Kyogre will be staring each other down. I have a little epic fight first. Then it transfers you into the actual battle, and now you, you're controlling Grodd on the battle. Same thing with, like, you know, if you have Mew, and you go find Mewtwo, or vice versa, you know, they activate a little cutscene, just a little small cutscene, not a long one, and show them clashing for a minute, you know, that kind of stuff. You know, I'm really, really wanting to see these events. They do more with the events, because the events these past couple years have been trash. All I want to see is them... Take, do do better with them, you know. Actually, add a story to them. Like you know, like I said, take what you get from the movies and put it in the game. You know, like you know, the next the next movie that might come out, you know, Ash and his crew come across that special Pokemon, like how they did with Lucario and Zork. You know, you come across them. Okay, so you got Zorark. Then they have the legendary Pokemon there too. So you you're gonna get a Zorark and you're gonna get the legendary Pokemon or whatever special type Pokemon they got for dinner today. That they're trying to showcase, and one of the legendary Pokemon from the new season, from the new uh, game, you get to get both of them. Or the opposite, say like if you got the legendary Pokemon that's blue, and he rivals with the red one. Okay, well you go through the movie and you'll get the blue one and the red one, whatever. Y'all pretty much get them. I hope y'all get what I'm saying. And I would also like to get, you know, instead of getting a bike, I like the bike. But I also did like the rollerblades that had an X and Y. Like, can we get the rollerblades back? Like, I felt like that was much, that was cooler. Like, you know, if you wanted to walk, you know, the person would jump out of the skates and just start walking. But if you wanted to roller skate, you know, all you had to do was go from the D-pad to the joystick and just start moving around and he just started skating real fast. I also thought that was legit as well. There's a lot of, like I said, there's a lot of stuff that Game Free can do for the new Pokemon game that would be legit. I feel like it'd be legit, especially with online play with the Nintendo Switch. Amazing. Now, of course, they gotta have to use the Joy Cons because you know it's still kind of it has the Wii features in there too. You know, with the motion capture and all that, and with the motion and stuff. Yeah, you gotta throw that in there. And I'm guessing they're saying they're gonna use that to do the Z moves. No, fuck no, don't do that. That's no. Okay, that's no. The Z moves, I felt like is what turned people off from the game. I didn't like the Z moves at all. You know, at first it was kind of cool when they did a little dance and they throw on the gang signs and stuff. But like, no. 
trash that. Give me Mega Evolution Arc. Think of a new, like a new perk. Think of another gimmick. Yeah. I liked how Ash can like link with Greninja. Can you do that? I thought we was gonna end up getting that. I would love to do that. Matter of fact, there was a manga that came out not too long ago of people doing that, like linking with a Pokemon and they pretty much like fused with their Pokemon and became that Pokemon. It was like half human, half that Pokemon, and there you go. It was pretty cool. I want to see that in games. I forgot what the name of it was. Uh, if I can ever remember in the next video, a Pokemon that's coming out, I'll be sure to let you guys know about it. But that's what I think they should do. It was it was really cool. I read like all issues of it before it stopped, and I thought, yo, that would be cool. Why come they haven't used that in the game yet? Like, do something like that. Also, this might be a scratch, but this is just me. This is just me, because this is something I like to see. If you ever play Pokemon Coliseum and Pokemon XD, can we get, like, one of the special Pokemon from here? I'm like, you know, I'm pretty sure we came up on the anniversary of one of those games. One of those things, because those games have been around for a hot minute. And I'm pretty sure we came across one of their anniversaries. I would like to see Shadow Lugia make its way back into a game. I would like to see, you know... Shadow Pokemon in general. Yeah, make that make that the main thing about the next game, you know. Somebody going around turning pure Pokemon to evil and all that stuff. And just make it one person. Don't make it a full fucking team. Just make it one person. You know. Do you know, do something like that, you know, corrupting Pokemon, he has the power to do it. And you know, something like that. Whatever happened to the uh, king from X and Y, like, they really didn't touch up on his story either. Like, I don't think they didn't say much about him. Like, they said about his little Pokemon that he had the little little flower fairy Pokemon. I forgot his name, too. But some of these Pokemon were forgettable because they just weren't worth the time or effort to get. And once you think about it, what happened to him? He made, them, he made the weapon to end the war and all that stuff. Cool. But I know you ended up battling him at the end of X and Y. But after you battled him, where did he go? Like, is he just gone now? Is he dead? Or is he traveling more? Is he going to go reclaim his throne? What happened to him? Like, I would like to know what happened to him. If he comes back, that would be cool. If he doesn't, oh well. Just somebody give me some feedback on where this dude went. Then on top of that, what and then on top of that, I want to see what was the Pokemon War anyway. Make, make, make that into a story. Like somebody's trying to make World War II, Pokemon War II, that kind of thing. And he's just trying to see all Pokemon fight each other and cause nothing but chaos. And like I said, don't make a team. Just make it one person. You know, now, all these animes that are out right now, I've, I've seen it happen. One person caused a whole bunch of BS. Here, Madara from Naruto caused a lot of shit. Well, we wouldn't, we wouldn't even say Madara. We would say Kayula. Since she was the master planner over everything, if you we want to be real. Look, she did one thing that cost a whole bunch of bullshit for like over damn near 40, 50 years. All right, if she can do that, I'm pretty sure you can get a douchebag in Pokemon who got the power to turn Pokemon, pure Pokemon evil, and try to start a war in between both teams. And also get this dude, make, make sure this dude's team is OP as fuck. Because that's another thing that I missed about Pokemon. Getsis had a Hydreigon. OP as fuck. But when I go get one, though, oh, mine is just trash. Like, how? Why? How's that even logical? But at the end of the day, though, I felt that these are main key components that should be in a Pokemon game. Your rival should be a straight jackass, you know? Let him be a rival. Let him be a dick. Like, seriously. That's what I missed. Gary was a dick to Ash. Paul was a dick to Ash. Silver was a dick to your character and Golden Silver. So, let us have that rival who's just a straight jackass. Because then you can sit there and have that good feeling that, A, hey, I just showed this dude up. He ain't shit. That's what I were missing in a lot of these Pokemon games. But, guys, that's my video for today. That's my little Pokemon rant, if you want to say. It's just a lot of stuff I want to see in the game. But be sure to hit that like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that bell notification, too. 
just to let you know when new videos come up. So you ain't got to go searching for my stuff. You'll be like, oh, look, Don put up another video. Let's see put up another video. Let's see what he's talking about today. You know, just that kind of stuff. So be sure to hit that like, comment, subscribe. And also, guys, I'm going to start selling hoodies and T-shirts. Uh, I don't know how that's going. Right, It's going pretty well right now, actually. Just got the hoodie and the T-shirts today. I put them up on my Instagram. Tell me what you guys think about them. And if I get honest feedback, if I get some honest feedback, I'll be sure to make sure you guys get you, make sure to put up a website or something. Sorry, guys. Tongue tied. Make sure to put up a website for you guys so you can see them and see how much they're going to cost. These hoodies and t-shirts are going to cost like $5, guys. I ain't trying to break your pockets for the clothes. Really, it's for you guys to come to my channel and watch my stuff. But other than that, guys, I'll catch y'all later on the next video. Peace. Hey, hat to the back like I'm ash. Hey, I was never with the mask. Hey, and you look home with my cash. Hey, Pokemon 25, I risk on Pikachu. Down